inside Middleton Police's property room. It's surprising that some of the items that are lost. After a 90-day notice, lost items in the city become a part of Officer Kenneth Chung's chattel. I think culturally, we, um, if we lose an expensive item, we just assume, naturally assume that someone took it and won't had, has no plans to return it. But that hasn't been, I'm sure that happens often, but that hasn't been the case with the items that we have in our property room. Items deemed valuable. Got watches. Phones, iPhones, smartphones are common, laptops and other mobile devices. But that's not all. I don't know what happened, but someone left their tuba here. We have canoes in the garage. We have a lot of bikes. Um, bikes are probably the most common item lost in the city. OK, how many bikes? 50 to 75 bikes a year. And we probably have 30 now, and we've already discarded uh, or donated another 30 or 40 bikes. And ladies, listen up. You know what you can find in the property room that can make this microphone look really pretty? Two new diamond rings. Right, that's right. I have no clue whether the, the rings are real, um, but we have to err on the side of caution, so we send it to the property room. Where Officer Chung spends hours each month assessing the value. It takes, yeah, it takes a little bit of work. Before turning it all over to an online auction. I think in the end it's worth it. Everything at auction is sold for pennies on the dollar. And it's why Officer Chung wants you to know this. That we end up with a lot of property, but most people don't know to look to their local municipality to see if their property was found and returned to a police department. Catherine Larson, Spectrum News.